Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Charles Barkley Shut Up and Jam Gaiden. When we last left off, Jordan had taken Hoops hostage. That's just like you, Barkley. Everyone around you is their own little family. You can always count on. Well, not me, Barkley. I wasn't a part of your little b-ball family. Heh. <laughs> I was the black sheep of your goddamn Barkley b-ball clique. Put the gun down and let him go, Jordan. Or you'll do what? You're a fucking coward, Barkley. You wouldn't put your son's life in danger like that. No, you're one of those fucking goody two-shoes, always looking out for someone else. Never yourself. Guess you just snapped, huh? Just let it all go when you did that chaos dunk, just like that, Barkley. Like a twig. You just snapped and killed all those people, didn't you? Did people all really mean that much to you? Shut the fuck up and let him go, Jordan. Dad! Shut up, you little shit, or I'll pump you with lead like I did to Bird. L Larry! What did you do to Larry? I didn't do anything to him, Barkley. It was you. If you hadn't chaos dunked Manhattan, I wouldn't have to blow him away. It's your fault, really. You, you sick son of a bitch, Jordan. If you so much as lay a hand on, shut the fuck up. I've got you where I want you. Barkley, I've got you by the nuts, you motherfucking sport lover. First, I'm gonna ice you. Then, I'm gonna ice this little shit at my feet. The fuck are you doing, you little shit? I'm praying to Clispeth, Mr. Jordan. Clispeth? Clispeth. Can it really be? Is he the one? The one. The one. The one. Vince Borg? Memories are flooding back. The one. The fuck is this? Is this a fucking joke? My mission was to... DESTROY THE ONE! Vince Borg has left the party! Vince Borg, no! Must destroy Hoops Barkley! That's it, fuck this, you're going down, Jordan. Oh! It's time to slam jam! Alright, I gotta get Vince Borg's power down or he'll destroy me. <laughs> All right, Michael Jordan's sprite is from, um, it's from, god damn it, it's from, uh, uh, god damn it, uh, Michael Jackson Moonwalker, Dwarf Rage, push, so, um, as such, it just doesn't work well, like, that's supposed to be his leg delivering a Michael Jackson-esque kick. Slow them down. Show them the power of snails. Ah, oh, must not work on bosses. Oh, Alright, uh, holy dunk. I don't have enough baller points. Uh, a double team will have to suffice. This music is awesome, by the way. It's also, like, horrifically stolen, obviously. Yeah, there we go. Oh, uh -huh. power down. Oh, his guard's up. It won't protect him, though. Oh, or will it? Damn it. Damn it, Barkley. Felt he also had to finish the job. Oh, God, did we kill Michael Jordan? Nah. He's too difficult to destroy. Yeah, I wanted to get him out of the way first because uh, he's got way less health than Vince Borg 2050. Thunderzauber? Show him the power of lightning. Like, the logic with robots and lightning is always iffy at best. Like, sometimes it's po sometimes it powers them up, sometimes it does extra damage. You never know what it's gonna be. Feel the power of snails! Hey -ya. Oh, it did not restore any baller points. He must not have expended any. I don't, I don't remember the name. Right, the name of the song is by Eternity. And uh, the singer of it is the same as the singer of uh, Deep Purple. So, that's pretty slick. Also, that song is completely stolen. Mm. I, 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 I feel, I feel a strike coming on my channel. I feel, a, uh, I feel content ID. 
The glaucoma prayer. You son of a bitch, Barkley. Get the fuck away from him. Do it, Jordan. You won today, Barkley. Yeah, you beat me. Fucking gloat, but I'll get you, Barkley. I'll get you and the rest of your goddamn sport lovers. And when I do, you'll fucking bleed Gatorade to your graves. <laughs> Mission failed. Retreat to Blood Moses for reconstruction process and second attempt. Vince, wait. I am no longer Vince Carter, Balthios. I am Vince Bork 2050, Blood Moses, Agent of Death. Why don't... Why don't you destroy them? Yeah, whatever. They're, they're going really fast. You saw how fast they got out of here? Damn it, Vince. Damn it. Dad! Um, mere son. Barkley. Larry. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that bloody sprite. I did everything I could for hoops. Larry, don't talk. You'll reopen your wounds. I'm dead, Barkley. Jordan got me good. Larry. I wanted to tell you I was sorry, Barkley. Sorry for that that argument we had earlier. You were right. Larry, you don't need to. I had no right to say the things I did. How did we grow so apart, Charles? We used to be so close. I, I knew it wasn't you who did that chaos dunk in Manhattan, Charles. How do you know? Look at yourself, Barkley. You wouldn't hurt a fly. Not after what happened to Maureen. It's getting cold, Charles. It's getting so... Goodbye, Larry. Well, fuck! Larry Bird is dead! This game has no mercy. It's killing off characters faster than George R. R. Martin. Mr. Jordan, was, was he gonna hurt me, Dad? Wasn't he? He was gonna hurt me, Dad, wasn't he? Yeah. He would've hurt you if we didn't get there in time. W what did I do? You didn't do anything, Hoops. Mr. Jordan is... He's not a well man. He's doing things he knows he shouldn't. That's right, Hoops. But we're not going to let him do anything to you. Mmm, that dwarvish accent. You said you'd clear this all up when we got Hoops, Cyberdwarf. Tell me what the hell is going on. The chaos dunk that destroyed Manhattan. It was Blood Moses. Somehow they got their hands on the ultimate b-ball. The ultimate b-ball? Long time before you were even born. I was trapped in a basketball with a couple a couple other ballers. You remember when I told you about this, right, Hoops? Yeah, the Space Jam. I remember. But what's that got to do with this? Although you are no longer trapped in the ultimate b-ball, Barkley, its power slowly continued to grow until it rivaled its original power. Someone, somehow, and I don't know how, the terrorist organization Blood Moses got their hands on that ball. I don't know what they're planning on doing with it, but from what they've shown us already, they're incredibly powerful and know how to use it. But... Who is Blood Moses? I don't know who the leader is, but I do know that they've existed for almost a century. I think Balthios knows more than I do. No, Cyber Dwarf, I don't. What do you mean? They... they killed my great-grandfather LeBron. He was killed before the purge. They shot him, Charles, right in the heart. I was at his deathbed when he told me about the Zoppers. I... I didn't... I didn't know about the James legacy. That my family was the last to harness the power of Zobbers. <laughs> he told me to respect and master the Zobbers, but never to use them for any ill purpose, and that's why Blood Moses killed him. They wanted the power of the Zobbers for themselves. I've been tracking them down since LeBron died, but he's been chasing smoke. Can't find anything. Sorry, Balthios, I didn't know. You have nothing to be sorry for, Buckley. So what do we do now? There are two things, Barkley. Find out what Blood Moses is planning and stop them. How are we going to do that? We need to forge a new ultimate b-ball. One powerful enough to counter whatever Blood Moses is planning. I don't know how we'll do this, but I think we can find clues in the old Spalding building. Where's that? It's located further underground in Proto-Neo New York. Proto-Neo New York. So how do we get there, Cyberdwarf? We'll exit the town at the north, and then take a right. After that, it's just a bit farther through the sewers. There's a ladder there we can use that descends all the way down into Proto-Neo, New York. And that's where we'll find it. The old Spalding factory. I don't know where all this is leading, but it can't be anything other than fate. Fate. We should get all the supplies we need here in Cesspool X, and then we'll take off. Good idea. Hoops has joined the party! Thanks for saving me, Dad. I don't know what Mr. Jordan would have done to me if you didn't come, but he's not a good man, Dad. I know, Hoops. He's one of the bad guys, and I promise I won't let him do anything to you. 
Thanks, Dad. I knew I could count on you. What? How did, did they just create, like, an honest-to-goodness father-son bond in, in this fucking game? What we're dealing with, Barkley, could spell disaster if we fail. I've dealt with Blood Moses before, and I know firsthand that they're serious customers. I want to thank you for helping me, Cyberdwarf. I, I don't know if I could have saved hoops without you. At least he's safe, and that's what matters. We still got to go to the ruins of the old Spalding building. It's a fair distance away, but the first step is heading to the north and the right at the fork. You know... I don't think Vinceborg is one of the bad guys. There's a distinct difference between him and Jordan. What do you mean, Balthios? Jordan is a malicious old bastard who's trying to get to you for whatever perverted definition of justice he believes in. He's a son of a bitch and a sick person. Vince? He was a good guy. One of my best friends before the purge. That's right, and even though he's a cyborg programmed to kill us, he's still Vince Carter. I'm sure there's some way we can get him to remember who he is. Remember that he's not a machine. What's Hoops got? A ZX Zovertech 1, rags, and some beeps. Oh, cool! They unequipped uh, Vinceborg's equipment. That's really courteous. And also, just like, really, like, thank you. Thank you for doing that. Nah, I don't have anything better than the Zovertech. Healthy, level level 5 Guns Broster. Cyberdwarf. Zobermancer. And Jar Parkley is a slams master. Damn. Barkley, wait. Oh, it's the turkey. Or is it a vulture? Oh, it's Zalatar. There's something I wanted to give you before you left. What is it? Whether you want to admit it or not, Barkley, I know you learned something from us while you were here in Cesspool X. It's been a long time since I have spoken to a norm and I forgot how much we had in common. I mean... It is where we all came from. Everyone here was a norm once. What, do you want to give me a basketball or something? No, Barkley. I want to know that you taught me to believe again. You've given me the hope to believe that someday, your people and my people can coexist. That someday there will be harmony between our two peoples and a bond of understanding and cohesion that will go beyond appearance. I wanted to give you one of my precious turkey feathers to symbolize the mutual strength we have gained from each other. Got a turkey feather. Oh, I thought you wanted to talk about rebounds or something. Parkley. I don't know where you're headed, but don't ever forget us here in Cesspool X. Farewell, good friend. What the fuck am I supposed to do with this? It symbolizes the potential unity between these animal people and us normal people, Charles. Just throw it away, I don't care, we gotta get moving. Yeah, let's get going. What, what, what can I do with this feather? Is it a piece of equipment? Zalatar's precious turkey feather. Can, can anyone equip it? Does it do anything? Is it... I don't... Alright, whatever. It's a sweet feather, though. I'm sure it'll come in handy at some point. Alright. Into the depths of the sewers. To face more bizarre sewer creatures. Ooh! Treasure! I see treasure. I want it! I'm gonna fight you. Give me the loot! Oh, Jesus Christ, that's a lot of b-ball droids. Damn, brasts. Gun slay, status shot, bullet dance. What do we got? Accurate shot, rapid fire, mega shot. Let's see rapid fire. Okay, so rapid fire is a series of attacks. So it's kind of like Vinceborg's maneuver. Okay, they only have 47 health. That's cool, like, ah, oh, damn it. Attacking an enemy tells you clearly how much health they have. What a waste. Just throw the ball droid. Three-pointer. Just keep shooting it. Oh, yeah. Check out those sweet hoops moves. Oh, boy. Face mask? Sounds like it would raise someone's guard. Yeah, a lot. Clear plastic shield, just like Rip used to wear. I'm gonna give it to Hoops, just because Hoops' physical defense is so low. I think he also has fewer hit points than Balthios. I didn't check. No, the other ball droid. Yes, that one. Thank you. 
snails. Holy shit, can Barkley hit a single attack? Just punch the shit out of it. Punch the shit out of that spider. Nice. Oh god. Yeah, that's how an accurate shot works. You want to line up the targeting reticle with the uh, with the opponent. Not too complicated. There we go. Finally getting in some hits. Mega shot? Damn. Okay, that's pretty slick. Damn it. So bad. I can't zent it again. Anyway. Ah, oh, god damn it, dead end. What do we got? What do we got? Oh god, that's a lot of ball spiders. Bullet dance. Nah. Let's go for another power shot. You really need to line that up. Or it does nothing. Or I suspect... Let's, let's experiment some more with it. Damn it. Barkley, how do I increase your accuracy? Just kick him. Just kick him. Kick him very hard. Okay, and so long as you do it before... Before the trigger, it's a hit. But if you if you screw up and go after, it's a miss. All right. So be cautious or go go big, you know. How did they make combat in this game so interesting? I know these are just sort of systems from other games, just sort of slam jammed together, but it works. Punch him! Just punch him! There we go. Like I'm I'm certain I've seen. Damn it. I've seen all of these systems in other games, but all of them put here into one pile, I'm down. We got mashing, we got timed hits. Oh, what do we have here? Rufus, I heard you've been complaining about some of the security situation at the gate. I understand your grievances. As such, I've ordered another shipment of weaponry from Square Enix Goya. It should be here, it should be in by the weekend. They're quality arms this time. Meaning, although those rats can be a bit of a nuisance there, should no longer be problems unattributable to the human error. Meaning, screwing up again, you'll wake up swirling around at the bottom of a sewer grate, and there'll be only a hundred little urchins ready to snap up what was your position. Don't compromise what little faith I still have in you. From Allard. This Allard guy sounds like a real son of a bitch. Allard. Chicken do! Give me that chicken do. The do of a chicken fry will save us. Oh god, three b-ball spiders. Oh, perfect! Perfection! You can't improve on perfection. Crap. Damn. I think I'll follow that up with a jab next time. Ow. Oh no, the spider slam. Barkley's uh, Balthios' health. You can't take much more of this punishment. Damn it. Nope, nope. Better go earlier than after. Uh, Dwarven touch. Well, how much does this cost? 10, this costs 15. All right, it's more economic to give Balthios the sweet heal. That super heal. Just fill him full of holes. Just bullets. Fuck, it worked out. Anyway. That'll do for this episode of Let's Play Charles Barkley Shut Up and Jam Gaiden. When we return next time, we'll continue exploring the sewers beyond Cesspool X as we go to Proto Neo New York. That was it, right? In any event, if you liked what you saw, hit like. If you want to continue the adventure, please hit subscribe. And if you think that what I do is really keen, you can send me a couple bucks monthly on Patreon. And I can use that money to make more videos, do incredible things, stream, hire an artist to make cool stuff, and pay my rent. But until then, hope you all have a wonderful evening. Good night, everyone.